Hey guys, just want to film a quick update on Project Nano. So, um, <clears throat> as mentioned in a previous video on Project Pico, um, that aquarium crashed on me, so I moved um, pretty much everything that was living over to this aquarium, uh, the coral mainly, and then um, I moved a couple of snails to Project Natural. And so I just wanted to give an update uh, because uh, my skimmer did come in uh, finally from uh, Rick's Fish and Supply. And so I want to show that off real quick. I have not figured out how to really work it yet. Um, unfortunately, the um, instructions that came with it were pretty poor. So um, there's a plug here that I pulled out just to vent water uh, for now. Uh, it is catching some residue inside, um, but uh, what happened was everything was bubbling over through the vent holes here. So um, I went ahead and pulled the plug for now uh, until I could figure it out. Um, I've also added a, uh, another light to the back of the aquarium, a uh, very cheap light, because uh, I'm thinking of seeing how um, some Cheeto might grow in that second compartment. I'm just going to put a little bit there at some point and, and see what comes of it. And um, I pulled the carbon bag out of the third compartment because I'm going to be uh, reconfiguring um, that. I'm probably going to be using either Purigen or uh, some uh, Boyd's Chem Blue. So we got some new residents. I traded the uh, pair of clowns. Uh, along with the maroon pair of clowns for some power heads. So um, we have a ruby red dragonette or blenny. Uh, coral, banded coral shrimp is still in here. And I've got a uh, yellowtail damsel and a blue damsel. Uh, which are basically my uh, test fish that I moved from uh, aquarium to aquarium um, just to see how, how they're doing in an aquarium before I put anything more expensive in. So uh, these guys are hanging out in here now uh, because I'm, I'm doing some reconfiguration with uh, Project Natural. So uh, the water's kind of cloudy, so I just moved them over here for now. Um, I also have a... Uh, Sally leg, uh, Sally leg crab from Petco. Thank you, John. And also a uh, red crab. Um, we're not sure exactly what it is, but it's probably a red version of an emerald crab. It's very shy, likes to hang out in the rocks. Um, the Sally leg crab is very active in eating um, stuff off the rocks. You can see there's a lot of algae growth on the rocks um, since probably um, a few videos ago and um, of course I've got some corals in here still some um, astro snails some Nisaria snails I believe there's maybe a couple in here and uh, a hermit crab so I wanted to go over the uh, information on the skimmer so um, it is a HT, H2O Pro Mini Skimmer and I'm not even sure which size I got from uh, Rick's uh, Fish and Supply. Um, the manual is basic, uh, it's, it's, it's very um, minimal in its explanation of the different models. It's got like uh, the parts. Uh, there's three different models. There's the SQ50, SQ70, SQ90. So um, I'm going to actually just go ahead and pull it out at some point and check which punch pump came with it so I can figure out which size I have um, because there was nothing uh, labeled on the box. Um, and the, the instructions are very basic. Uh, the English is bad in some places. It, it was probably um, written in China. and. Um, I believe it was manufactured in China from what I'm finding on the web 
and uh, there are no um, operational instructions so um, I can't figure out how to uh, adjust the bubbler so it, it keeps overflowing so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and um, leave the hole unplugged for now and just catch whatever residue I can in there um, and uh, I want to do a quick uh, water test result uh, last water test I, I, I did uh, I was kind of uh, on the downside I did a, a water change of about a 50% water change before I added added in these creatures uh, the water change was done about five uh, I'm sorry about three days ago so um, pH right now is sitting about 8.0 uh, ammonia is back down to a manageable zero or 0.25 Nitrite is fairly low. I would say it's 0.25 at the most. And uh, nitrate is in the uh, 10 ppm range. So everything's back to normal. Um, this aquarium does have one of the better um, heaters in it. It has the cobalt uh, neotherm. So um, I, went out, I went ahead and ordered two more 50 watt neotherms. Um, the 50 watts will go in here and then the 25 watt that's in here now uh, will go into Project Pico uh, so that I don't run into any uh, problems in the future uh, with heating problems. Um, I really like the heater on this aquarium. So check back for more updates and uh, thank you for watching my video.